there's something I could use a bit of advice on. One thing that I struggle with a lot is decision making and decision fatigue. It's Saturday today, and one of the things that I find challenging about weekends is unstructured time because I find it very difficult in a moment to decide what I want to be doing and to balance what I want to be doing with what I think I should be doing with what needs to be done. Now if you know me, you know that I don't love schedules. I find them difficult to make and to stick to. And one of the reasons that I don't love doing really structured scheduling, particularly on weekends when the things that I would be scheduling are things like cleaning and cooking and writing and crafting time or relaxing time, socializing time. I find that my energy for those things can be really mood dependent. So if I structure a whole day saying, oh, well, these are things that need to be done and these are things that I want to do, I get to the day and then I really don't have the energy for that kind of work. I feel really stuck and then I feel like I've set an expectation for myself that I've now failed to meet because there are so many things that I could be doing, so many things that I want to do or feel that I should be doing, I am looking at a block of empty time and trying to figure out how to fill it. And as I try to make a decision, I'm thinking about like, oh, how can I optimize my time? How can I make the most of it? And I find myself just like sitting and wasting minutes or hours. It's really sunny outside today. For whatever reason, I find that sunny days are hard for me. They come with a certain level of expectation. I feel like I'm supposed to be outside. I'm supposed to be getting exercise, getting fresh air, or connecting with people while we're able to gather outside. And I think at the very least I should go for a walk, but where should I walk and how long? And do I need to bring water? And do I need to bring a snack? And should I try to explore something new? Or should I just walk the same familiar path? Will I get bored if I walk the same path? Should I try to be mindful? Or can I listen to that audiobook I was meaning to listen to? And oh, I have that podcast episode that I said I was going to listen to. Every decision becomes so much bigger than I meant for it to, and then it really needs to be. So I don't know, I'm gonna try to go out for a walk, but I thought that for my vlog today I would just ask if anyone has any tips or strategies for handling decision making. Do you guys have a process? Do you find decision making easy? At the very least, it is helpful for me to sort of get this off my chest. This is one of those things that I struggle with a lot and I don't think that people always see it. It's one of the things that makes um, those sort of executive functioning tasks, project management, leadership really challenging for me. I, decision making is just very stressful. But for now, I have decided that I am going to get out for a walk. I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but even if it's just a walk around the block, it'll be good for me to get outside. Would you like to come for a walk with me? Something that I learned in therapy is that not only am I afraid of making a wrong decision, but I believe that there are right decisions and wrong decisions. That things are just that clear cut and that there are paths, or at least that for me there is a path. Unpacking that is taking some work. And I think that's part of why I struggle to make decisions. Making decisions is difficult because every decision, even small decisions, seems like a big deal. I worry about waste. I worry about wasting my time, wasting my youth, wasting my potential. All time spent doing something is time not spent doing something else. And I struggle to make my peace with that. The other thing about decisions is that if you don't make a choice, the choice is made for you. My favorite quote from Sunday in the Park with George is from Act 2 in the song Move On when Dot says, the choice may have been mistaken, the choosing was not. Some days I don't choose and the choice gets made for me. I lie in bed, I watch TikTok, I laze about, I don't do the things that make my body and mind feel good. Today I chose to go for a walk because, as we learned, walking is my new meditation. And even on days when I don't want to do it, it makes me feel better. And yes, I could be home, I could be doing something more productive like writing or less productive like watching TikToks, but I am where I am. I'm out on a walk. And the sky is hazy. 
through the haze, the sun is a perfect circle in the sky, and it's bright red, fluorescent, beautiful. It's hot and muggy. It's the kind of day that feels more like late August than early September, but it's lovely. It's quiet. It's not quite gray. It's a sort of gray pink late summer day. Very inviting. And I would have missed it. Making decisions is exhausting, but we have to keep doing it. Until tomorrow, my friends and fellow Vetsies.